Okay, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and I typically post videos every Thursday all about thrifting, vintage, sustainable fashion, but today I'm doing something a little bit different. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, then you know that I live and die by Levi's denim and I thought it would be really fun to try on and review 10 different pairs of Levi's denim, some vintage, some modern, and basically give you all of my thoughts on them. I'm gonna be talking about the style material, cut, just fit, price, all of that. That way if you were curious about any of their new styles that they're putting out there or some of their vintage fits, you can hear all of the tea from me first before you buy. For reference, I am a size 27. All of these are pretty much a size 27, at least the modern ones are. And I have a curvier shape, so I kind of have a difficult time finding jeans that will fit me in the waist and the hips because I have about a 38 inch hip and then a 27 inch waist. So I get a lot of gapping or tightness in my hips and thighs. So I will share with you guys the jeans that just did not work for my body type and then the ones that were just perfection. All right, let's get into it. So I'm first gonna start off with three pairs of vintage Levi's. I pretty much have sworn off vintage Levi's because they're typically 100% cotton or raw denim and that just leaves like zero room for any stretch. So they kind of like have to fit perfectly to really be comfortable. But I have three pairs that I really love. They're all super comfortable. So I'm gonna share those three styles with you. The first style is the classic relaxed 550 fit. These I got from a vintage shop in Louisville, Kentucky, randomly enough, and all of the distressing on them is like natural wear and tear, so I can feel on the fronts of the thighs and just like on the seams where it's really thin and distressed, and I really like that because it looks super natural and it also makes the jeans a lot softer and more comfortable. The Classic Relaxed 550 offers a tapered leg and then it's looser through the hip and thigh, so I think that's why I really, really like these and they're not too loose in the waist. The 550 is a classic cut that sits at the waist and offers maximum ease through the hip and thigh, tapering below the knee to the ankle. It has a classic five pocket styling and is 100% cotton. So I just love these because I feel like if I want something different that's not just a super high waist, these are a good kind of mid cut and they really look good with everything and they're probably one of the only vintage Levi's that I've ever found that actually really fits my body. So these are a definite must if you are a little bit bigger in the butt like me because these will offer you that extra room that you're gonna need. Funnily enough, I actually have these in black and these are the men's version. So they're a 29 waist, 32 inch length. And I love the kind of charcoal black wash of them. I picked these up at a Beacon's Closet in New York City. And I like the men's cut too, just because I feel like they offer even a little bit more room. I, they're basically like a size up from my other um, women's 550s but still offer that classic relaxed fit, straight tapered leg. Make sure to check out your men's Levi's too because they have some really, really great fits as well. My last pair of vintage Levi's that I have are the regular fit 505. These are actually also a men's denim. I thrifted them at a thrift store here in Nashville, paid like $15 for them. I am curious to know if they sell these in a women's fit and how they would kind of sit on the body, but I love how these fit. They're probably my loosest pair of denim that I have, but I really like that because they're really nice for lounging. I think these are really great just to run errands and stuff like that. Pair with a t-shirt, pair with some sneakers, and they always look really, really nice. They are 100% cotton, and they are basically a similar fit to a 501, but with a little more room in the butt and thigh, which I always thought there was something wrong with me that everybody was like obsessed with these 501s, but they never seemed to fit my body well until I tried the 505 and understood 
why they never fit because they just don't offer that room and the button thigh that I really needed. So if you are like me and 501s have never fit your body well, then I highly suggest trying the 505 regular fit. They also make a straight fit if you want something that's a little bit straighter through the leg. If you need that extra room, these are another great vintage option. Now I'm going to move on to their modern denim that you can find all on their website. I've linked everything below for you guys and I know they've been doing a bunch of sales right now so definitely check out their website to see any sort of codes that they're offering I know you can also get 20% off your first order too the first modern style I'm going to talk about are the jeans that I basically want to be buried in <laughs> they are the ribcage straight ankle and I have them in two different colors the dark wash and then the tango fade light wash. The tango fade has a little bit of distressing in the knee so I think they look nice because they're a bit more of a casual denim whereas the dark wash has a bit more of like a dressiness to it. I've talked about these jeans so much here on my channel and on my Instagram because they seriously are the most flattering jeans ever. They make your butt look so good. They make your thighs and your legs look super slim. What's great about these is that they have some stretch to them. They're made with 99% cotton and 1% elastane. So that elastane really allows for them to be snug in the waist and in the butt, which again is like my biggest problem with finding jeans to fit me. So they have a button fly. They are Levi's highest rise with a classic straight leg and they retail for about $98. I literally cannot say better things about these jeans. Out of all of the jeans that I tried on today, these are seriously still my absolute favorite. I will eventually get them in like every color because they just fit so well. I wanted to share them first so that we could essentially compare all the rest to these because these seem to fit the best. The fourth pair of Levi's are the wedgie fit denim and these were actually the first pair of modern Levi's I bought when I swore away vintage stiff denim because they really feel and look like vintage denim. They're marketed as basically a modern interpretation of vintage denim. They're supposed to make the booty look real good which is why they're called the wedgie fit because they kind of like give you a little bit of a wedgie in the back but not in an uncomfortable way just in like dang your butt looks really good kind of way they are slimmer fit through the legs so this is honestly the closest that i will get to a skinny jean i wouldn't consider them a skinny jean because the leg kind of doesn't taper past the ankle but they're fairly tight in the hips thighs and waist. What I really love about them is that they feel super substantial. They're 99% cotton and 1% elastane, but they just feel a lot thicker and don't seem to have as much stretch to them as some of their other modern denim. I know that they're phasing out this wash right now, but they do have a lot of similar washes to this on their website. Just because I've had these for so long, but I think these are really great alternative if you're looking for something with a bit of a thinner, slimmer leg and your butt's gonna look so good. This next pair is the 501 Skinny. I would say that this is the most reminiscent of a classic vintage denim. They are 100% cotton. They have the button fly, the classic five pocket with the leather tag in the back. They have a really slim straight leg and they're basically supposed to be a modern interpretation of the 501, a little slimmed down in the leg. So I think they're a bit more flattering. They don't have that super high waist. It's more of a mid rise, which is right on point with the classic 501. I think they're phasing this wash out too, but they have a lot of similar washes on there. The only thing I'll say is these will obviously offer less stretch because they are the 100% cotton. They don't have any stretch to them, but I love how they look like vintage denim, but they just are 
honestly more flattering through the leg. So if you are a diehard vintage Levi's fan or just vintage denim in general, then I would say definitely give the 501 Skinny a try and see if that is something you would really like. Now I'm going to be trying out some pieces from Levi's that I just ordered. I was really interested in trying some new fits from them because they've been coming out with a lot of really, really awesome vintage inspired denim that I've been dying to try. So I figured I would buy a bunch of them, see which ones would work with my body type, share it with you guys, and then whatever doesn't work, I'll just send back. Honestly, I was really disappointed in some of these because I've always been a 27 in all of the other modern Levi's that I've purchased previously, and a lot of these tended to run pretty big. So I'll definitely make sure to touch on just the style and fit of them so that you guys will know if you're interested in trying any of these out that you should size down or just the general fit of them so you know before you buy. I'm starting out with a pair of their balloon leg denim. This is in the color Black Book. They also have a bunch of other colors, but this was the only one they had in my size when I went to go order it, but I loved the black color. The fit is supposed to be like an 80s, but modernized 80s jean. So they have kind of that flattering high rise with a dramatic curve at the hip that tapers at the leg. So they're very, balloony and that's why they're called the balloon leg they are a hundred percent cotton so they don't have any stretch to them but they definitely feel a lot like softer than that stiff vintage denim so honestly i had to look up what the materials were on this one because I truly thought that they had a little bit of stretch to them because they are incredibly comfortable. I will say, however, I expected them to fit me super nicely at a size 27, but they ended up just being a little too big in the waist, which I didn't hate if I'm going for a little bit of a relaxed fit. But I would be curious to try these a size down just to see how that would fit. I'm a little bit worried that they would be a little bit too tight in the hips if I did that but they could also be really nice and give you that lifting effect so I think I'm going to exchange these and try them in a size 26 I've seen a ton of people wearing these lately and I know that the 80s is making like a huge comeback I personally love a lot of the 80s stuff that's coming back so I think these were perfectly timed by Levi's and they're also $98 for this next pair, we have moved from the 80s to the 90s. This is the High Loose. They feature a super high rise. They are really, really loose through the hip and thigh, and then they offer a wide straight leg. So they don't taper at all. They are supposed to be a modern take on the classic kind of 90s style, which at first I was like a little unsure about these, but the more I have them on, the more I love them. They are supposed to be super casual. You kind of wear them stacked at the hem, so the bottom kind of bunches up a little bit. But again, I think I need to size down in these because the waist on this one was like way too big as compared to the thighs. They are made from 79% cotton and 21% tinsel lyocell, which is essentially a sustainably sourced wood material, similar to like rayon. Tinsel also makes things super soft so these are really really soft as well I'm kind of undecided on these though I want to try them in a smaller size and see if that would work on my body type but right now I don't see myself wearing this exact size in the high loose because the fit was just really off for my body type I think if you have a really straight waist then these would be perfect on you but I am curious to see if I size down if I would like them better so TBD on whether I love these or not 
So this next pair of denim is the column taper and I had really high expectations for this one because it was the priciest at $168. The first thing I noticed just pulling them out of the bag was how high the quality of the denim is and I would expect nothing less because they are made of Japanese salvage which here's a little bit about Japanese salvage that they say basically they say it's like the highest quality that they have, superior craftsmanship. Some of the finest denim in our production today are Japanese selvages made exclusively for Levi's. Selvage is from the term self-edge, is the woven strip on both sides of the roll of fabric. This collection features a unique indigo and white selvage hem. The selvage that they're talking about is this, the self-edge. They are essentially supposed to fit like a modern high-waisted dad jean. This is the color Resin Valley. So I love, again, the denim material, the color, the wash of them, how high quality it feels. But I was really not impressed with the actual fit in the waist. Levi says on their website, a construction that's a little wrong and also completely right. So I don't know, maybe they're just a little too wrong for my body and not enough right. But for $168, I would honestly just go with the rib cage. I still feel like they fit my body type better. All right, we have finally reached the 10th and final pair of Levi's and I kind of saved the ones that I was having the highest expectations for for last. These are the rib cage wide legs. So they're supposed to be a similar fit to the rib cage denim, the straight ankle fit, but these have a wider leg and the denim themselves i feel like it's much more reminiscent of that japanese salvage they don't seem to have any stretch to them because they are a hundred percent cotton they have the same kind of super high waist but have that wide leg so they really remind me of like a classic 70s denim with the ultra high waist and then the ultra wide legs but unfortunately i just was not really happy with the fit of across my hips in these. I've noticed this a little bit with the straight ankle fit, but I think because that one has 1% elastane in there, it kind of molds to my body. Whereas since this one is 100% cotton, there's really not a lot of give in the hip region that I need a little bit of give in. So I thought that the waist was a little bit loose on me and then the hips were a little bit tight, but because they don't have any give in that hip region, I just felt like they were a little too snug. Also, I wanna mention that all of the modern Levi's, you can choose um, a length. So they have usually a few different lengths to choose from. I had to choose a 34 on this one because it was the only option for my size that they had. So that's why they're super long on me. So definitely make sure to check out the length of any of these Levi's before you purchase them to make sure that you're ordering the right length. I've definitely done that before on them and then had to exchange them because they were way too long. Honestly, I don't think I'll be keeping these because I just don't feel like the fit was that great. Their sizing seems to vary so much. So definitely keep that in mind when you are purchasing from Levi's. All right, that is the end of today's video. I hope this was helpful for you guys to see 10 different types of Levi's. Just kind of my personal thoughts and comparisons on them from the vintage to the modern fits. Again, I have linked all of them below if you wanna check any of them out. Let me know which fit was your favorite. I'm still a diehard Levi's ribcage fan and of course my vintage denim that I will probably keep in my closet forever. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on those notifications to get notified every time I post a video, which is every Thursday. If you want more content like this, you can go follow me on Instagram and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.